Hey there, how's it going? This video is part of the Gen Gen series, which is a Magic Gen game, meaning that all of the spells in the game are randomly generated. In this video, I'll be looking through the... Earth spells. Almost forgot. Uh, Conjuration first. Level 0 nothing, level 1 nothing. Level 2 we get Summon Cave Spider. Um, I use this one in my test games a little bit, to see if I could use it in expansion. Uh, it summons a Cave Spider at the edge of the battlefield, which is a bit unusual. Uh, and they spit webs as well, they have a ranged attack. Uh, interesting one. It's not actually very useful for expanding, but it might be useful uh, in battles, I think. Uh, level 3 we have Earth Power for the caster. Requires Earth 2. We have Gnome Law. Two Earth Gems requires Earth 2. Uh, level 4, with Earth 3 we can summon a Troll Moose Knight in combat. 200% cast time. These guys aren't bad. They regenerate, they've got high protection. They're pretty tough. Uh, I suppose if you've got lots of Earth Mages or something like that, it might be kind of annoying, but I uh, can't really mass them very well. Uh, nothing at 5. At 6 we can do a ritual to summon reanimating Iron Pigs. Requires Earth 2 D1. 6 gems. You get 3 plus 1 per level. Uh, iron Pigs. The skin is iron, they're hard to hurt. Uh, the summoned creatures may reanimate living creatures as soulless. Kind of unusual. Um, is that useful? I'm not sure. But level 6, so it must be okay, I don't know. <laughs> um, you don't get many of them. At uh, level 7, you can summon a Cyclops in combat. You have Earth 5 and 2 gems. Uh, Cyclops are kind of interesting, aren't they? They've got like 100 hit points, about 30 protection or something. Well, maybe not that bad, but it's... Um, yeah, they're Earth Mages that are very, very tough and tanky. Uh, maybe that's useful, I don't know. You'd only be able to cast it once, probably. <laughs> You're probably not going to have many Earth 5 mages. I don't know. Uh, level 8. Summon a Wur Tiny Earth Elementals. This is a national summon that we can actually use. We do have Earth Astral Mages. So for two Earth Gems in combat, we can summon 11 Tiny Earth Elementals that are aware. Summon creatures are exceptionally aware of their surroundings and are better able to deal with being under attack from multiple assailants. So they're size 1 Earth Elementals with Unsurroundable. It's, is that good? I'm not sure. Um, I associate Unsurrendable with large creatures. Do size 1 Earth Elements have high defense to begin with? It might be kind of cool actually, I don't know. There's 11 of them. I mean, it's not that difficult to cast. You can imagine like a, a communion casting lots of these. But I don't- I think size 1 Earth Elementals are like as useless as Elementals get, right? I think I'd rather have any other type of Elemental than a Earth one. Uh, Earth 5, Blood 1, we can summon Father Ill Earth. Requires 50 gems. Uh, summon Ritual to summon a Cyclops for 55 gems. That's a bit steep, I think. That's a bit steep, I don't know. It's like, um... It's equivalent to, like, Hidden Underneath or something. But without the terrain restrictions, but you only you just get a commander. With only Earth magic. I don't know, that seems a bit expensive to me. Uh, level 9, Call Alchemist. Invisible Alchemist. So this is the ultimate Earth Conjuration. Earth 2, Astral 1, 17 Earth Gems lets you call an Invisible Alchemist. Uh, Alchemists aren't bad, I guess. Or Astral Earth Mages. A bit late, a bit steep for what it is though, I think. Alright, this Conjuration. Alteration. Uh, level 0, we get Burden of Earth. This was a good one. I use this in my expansion a little bit. Uh, long cast time, but it's a big AOE. 4 plus 1. It does Curse of Stones and Petrify. It's pretty nice. And we've got Strength of Earth as well, plus 4 Strength for the caster. Not that useful. Uh, plus 4 Strength in an AoE 2, much more useful, so that's level 1. And Improved Burn of Earth, this is an AoE 4 plus 1 uh, Curse of Stones. Pretty nice, very long range as well. You can spam that from the back. And Earth Meld. Range is 15 plus 5, fixed AoE of 3, Earth Grip. Also pretty nice, not a bad little, little master on the earth. Um, alt 1, easy to get. Nice little spells. Uh, level 2 for one earth gem. Oh, this is just uh, turn earth gems into gold. Nice stuff. Uh, Rust. That's pretty nice. That's only earth 1 to cast and it has an 18 AoE. 35 plus 5 range. Rust. If you really want Rust, earth mages can do it easily. Uh, plus 4 strength in an AoE 5, that's nice. And if you've got one Earth Gem and you're an E2 Mage, you can do an AoE 15 Earth Grip. 
the 250 cast time. Level 3 we get Iron Skin for the caster, YZ1. Level 4 we get Steel Skin, which is Iron Skin for the caster in a lingering 4 AoE. That gives it to the whole square, that's actually quite nice. Still very easy to cast too. And Advanced Resist Lightning. So if you're E4, you have 2 Earth Gems, you can do a 21 AoE plus 5 Shock Resist buff. Not bad, it's only at 4, that's okay. I think at 5, you get Blight at 6. Uh, 7, you can do Rock Warriors, if you're an E4 Mage. Stone Skin, AoE 18. Or Marble Warriors. Stone Skin for every friendly on the battlefield. Pretty nice. And Iron Walls as well. Level 8, we got Petrify. Uh, range, 25 plus 5. Area of Effect, 3. Petrify. And Improved Lightning Warding. AoE 6, Lingering 4, 15 Shot Resistance. That's a nice little Shot Resist buff, doesn't need a gem or anything. Uh, and the big one, level 9, if you're an Earth 4 mage, you've got 2 gems, you can do Iron Warriors. 87% cast time, 24 AoE, Iron Skin. Pretty nice. Uh, okay, Evocation next. Uh, we start with Flying Shards. 11 plus 3 per level, projectiles, 200% cast time. 10 points of Mixed Slash and Blunt Damage. Probably not going to do much damage unless people have no armor. A lot of projectiles there, I guess. Improved Flying Shards. Uh, not as many projectiles, much easier to cast, only takes 50% of the time. Uh, pretty nice. Advanced Flying Shards, so 100% cast time, 11 plus 3 projectiles. It doesn't do much damage though. It's not armor piercing or even... Uh, only good against unarmored targets, I guess. Although, Earth Mages do have a ton of rust, so maybe you can knock all the armor off people. Uh, Stone Rain. 200% cast time, AoE 12 plus 2. Damage 7 plus 2. Uh, just some blunt damage. So, victims are caught by surprise, shields are no defense. Since it's rain, I was wondering if it might be more likely to hit the head, but... No, I guess it just avoids shields. That's a nice one though, I guess. Let me... E1, R1, level 2. I think it's 3. Rain of Stones, I guess this is just the battle enchantment, yep. So E2, R2. Do that for a gem. Earthquake. Probably just Earthquake. Uh, 4 gems, E5, wow. Is this different from... I'm not sure what um, Earthquake in the base game does, to be honest. That seems more expensive than Earthquake there, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, nothing at 5, 6 we have Blade Shower. 25% uh, cast time, wow, so you can really spam this one. 18 plus 4 effects as well. Wow, this is like, uh, you want tons of projectiles, this is the spell. How is, it's only E2 as well, yeah. Uh, only 14 points of slash damage, so it doesn't scale much either, plus 1. So again, if you can knock all the armor off people, or, uh, and again, 14 isn't too bad, is it? It might do a little bit of damage. Blade Wind. This looks more interesting. Uh, 25 plus 5 range, number of effects 3 plus 2 per level. It's only E1, so that's going to scale quite well. Damage is 13 plus 1. It is magic slashing damage that is armor piercing. That's a bit better. Uh, blade shower then. Looks like an upgraded version. So 6 plus 2 projectiles. Uh, 13 plus 1 damage. Blade wind. Wow, 25% cast time, 31 plus 4 projectiles. Uh, 15 plus 1 damage. A bit harder to cast though. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of projectiles, isn't it? So that's um, 120 projectiles per turn. <laughs> it's a 31 with a 25% cast time. A lot of projectiles, yeah. And uh, level 8, Meteor Shower. Is this just the enchantment? Yes, I guess so. And nothing at 9. Uh, construction. Ooh. That's a lot of construction stuff. But one, you get Temper Armor. This is a nice one. It's just AoE 1 Temper Armor. And Construct Clockwork Soldiers. You get 7 plus 2 of them, or 4 Earth Gems. I think, I always think, if you're at the point where you're summoning Clockwork Soldiers, that's, uh, that's a sign of desperation, usually. Uh, level 3, we have Toughened Steel. AoE 3, Lingering 4, Temper Armor. That's pretty nice, actually. And Construct Clockwork Horrors. And send Clockwork Soldiers. This summons 9 plus 2 Clockwork Soldiers. Uh, 4 range. 
It just will attack anything in the province, including friendlies, and then disappear. There were lots of those in the uh, Uber series, those types of spells. Attack everything in the province and poop away spells. Uh, level 4, we have a National Summon. Send the Potropaic Gargoyles. Uh, the 615 Earth Gems, and it's a attack and then poop away. Well, 3 plus 1 creatures. Probably not going to use that one, but uh, there it is. Level 5, we have improved Temporama. A 10% cast time AoE 1 Temporama. You can construct a Poison Golem in combat for an Earth Gem. Requires E2D2. We can send aware Clockwork Horrors 22 Earth Gems to send Clockwork Horrors. It's a lot of them, I suppose. 10 plus 2 per level. Uh, and they have Unsurroundable. I wonder what the value, uh, I wonder what the value of the Unsurroundable is, I didn't say. And Sharpened Weapons, this is nice. So E3, oh, only AoE 1 though, but it's, uh, yeah, Weapons of Sharpness. Pretty good stuff. Level 7, also E3 Improved Sharpened Weapons. Uh, AoE 4 Lingering 4. Legions of Steel requires a gem, uh, temper armor for every friendly. That's quite nice. It's only a gem. That's really nice, actually. Uh, summon Crushers Ritual requires E4 and 36 gems. You get 13 crushes. Are crushes good? I can't remember. I assume they have, um, yeah, I assume they have high protection and all the um, damage mitigation things. I can't remember if I've ever used a crusher or not. I think 13 crushes in a summon is just very funny though. I like the idea of just summoning loads of crushes. Uh, E5, 80 gems gets you Forge of the Ancients. That's the normal global enchantment. Uh, mechanical Militia. Global enchantment. Uh, so what is that? That's... So every point of province events gets you a mechanical man and then every point over 20 gets you an iron fly. Uh, and then the big ones, we've got four spells at level nine. Sharpened weapons. Uh, so that's Weapons of Sharpness, AoE 1. Don't we already have that? Did I... Sharpen Weapon, was it this one? Oh yeah, we do already have that. So this is just much easier to cast, it's an E1, I guess. Which I guess is an improvement. Uh, improved Construct Poison Golem. What's the difference between these ones? This one's E2, D2, this one's E3, D1, but doesn't need a gem, okay. So if you've got a bunch of Earth Death Mages, you can do as many... Well, only 30 fatigue as well. Yeah, you could summon as many poison golems as you want in combat. Uh, is that useful? No idea, but you could do it. Uh, Earth 5, 25 gems gets you send iron flies. A lot of iron flies. 25 plus 1 creatures. And uh, level 9, another sharpened weapons. Okay, this one is Earth 6 and 4 gems. I'm gonna assume this is all friendlies on the battlefield. It is all friendlies on the battlefield. Nice. A bit late though. Uh, enchantment. Let's see. Nothing at zero, nothing at one. Level two gets you animate ancient bones. Someone's a released one. Three of them. It's not bad. One gem in combat gets you three released ones. Pretty early. You do that pretty early on. Uh, construct clockwork soldier. I'm gonna clockwork soldier in combat. Only 50% cast time. You get quite a few of those out with an E2 mage. And iron will. AoE 16 magic resistance. That's quite nice considering how early and cheap it is. An E2 mage with a gem. Give you a bunch of magic resistance. A lot of our troops, a lot of our troops have terrible magic resistance, so yeah. It'd be useful for us. Level 3, an Earth uh, Mage can do protective force for themselves. Good stuff. Nothing at 4, nothing at 5. Level 6 gets you Lion Sentinels. These are the marble lions just outside the castle walls during Fort Storms. Uh, also increases the order scale by plus 1. Level 7 we have Lightning Warding, E2 Mages can do 15 Shock Resist in an AoE 1, 25% cast time. It's pretty nice if you want uh, some local Lightning Resistance. And then we have, looks like a global Mineral Transmutation. Uh, there is about a 1% chance per point of Dominion to find a Copper, Iron, Gold, Silver or Gem deposit in each friendly province every turn. Additionally there is a flat 50% chance per turn to find various undiscovered mine and cave magic sites it normally require searching earth. I cannot tell if this is a randomly generated global or it's a global that exists in the base game that I've just never seen before. <laughs> I actually can't tell. Um, but it's there anyway. I'll look that up after the video, I guess. Uh, and Earth Blood Deep Ball, this one is in the base game though, I do know that one. 
Oh, so there we go. Level 8, summon a released sage. Earth 4, D1 gets you. Just the release sage. Uh, they're good mages. That's a lot for 40 gems, though. And, uh, yeah. Level 8, we get, what is this? Earth 6, R1. 70 earth gems. You get omnipresent watches. This looks like a randomly generated global right? Gives a free watcher commander in provinces with friendly dominion. These watches are destroyed when the enchantment ends. Any individual watcher is also destroyed if friendly dominion leaves its province. Okay. So everywhere that you've got dominion, you get a free watcher. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen watches in a while. In JBBM games, they get re they're the throne guardians, right? They get replaced by uh, big carrots. Uh, nice. And uh, nothing at nine. Uh, and then we have Thaumaturgy. Ooh, nothing at Thaumaturgy at all. Nothing at zero, one, two, three, four. At five, we get a national spell, Gnome Law. Uh, didn't we see this already, actually? Now that I think about it. Where is that? Then, yeah, level three Conjuration. So we get a slightly easier to cast version of Gnome Law. That's our um, national spell. Nice. Uh, does, that, does require us to get to Thaumaturgy five, though. Nothing at six. Seven, you get Shatter. Uh, range 20 AOE 3. Shatter. In my Uber Magic Gen game, this spell was slightly bugged and it worked on things that weren't inanimate. Uh, looks like that's been fixed. So, looks like Shatter to me. Nothing at 8. And uh, 9, you get improved Shatter. Uh, AOE 1, Lingering 4. That's pretty interesting. Uh, and that's it with Avatar. Wow, I'm pretty empty. Uh, Blood Magic, nothing. Uh, so, there we go. That's the Earth spells. Pretty nice. Uh, nice uh, armor destroying thing in there, rust, and then lots and lots and lots of projectiles in evocation, uh, some poison golems, some watches, and then uh, a national version of Gnome Law. Uh, so what do you think of that? Let me know in the comments if you, what you, how you rate the um, Earth spells, and uh, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.